everyone, it's Renee with Delaney Jane Cards. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video for you using some Birch Press Design products. I'm using the Honeycomb Mini Tile Layering Set, the Happy Lingo Stamps and Die Set, and the Classic Sentimental Wreath Stamps and Die Set. I'll also be using some Memory Box products. And I'll show you those as we come across them. What I have done here is die cut the wreath die from some cardstock. And I'm going to go ahead and remove the actual die and place in the stamp and then pick it up with my platform. Just allows me to get that centered. And then I'm going to put the die cut back in. And I'm going to stamp that with some um, green ink. Now, Birch Press Designs has. Um, well, a few stamp sets in their store. This is a layer set. Um, this is the first time I had used it. I didn't uh, condition my stamps. And um, there is a slight dip <laughs> in my desk. Um, so it took me a little bit to get pretty good coverage. After I stamped the background, because this is a layering set, I placed the like detail and I'm going to stamp that with a darker green ink. I usually don't stamp in colored ink. Um, I guess I, it doesn't appeal to me as much as it does to others. Um, and I'm not very good at <laughs> layering stamps. So I don't really own very many of them. But this is really beautiful. And I can see this done in many different colors. Um, I kind of want to do it in a sage green and like pastel -y. Um, farmhouse look. I think that would be really cool. So I had cut out this um, wreath out of a couple extra pieces of white cardstock and there I was just gluing them together and making sure that it was all lined up perfectly so that it wasn't leaning. Have you ever stacked like die cuts and then you got you got it just kind of off and then it looks kind of funny? I made sure that that I had it all straight. And then I had die cut the word hugs from the lingo set, crystal lingo set. And I um, did my die cutting first and laid in my hugs word just like I did when I set up that wreath. And then I put in the die cut into the negative space. And I'm going to also stamp that with some dark green ink. Um, this is by MFT, but any dark green ink would work. I just... Um, didn't want to use black. I just felt like um, this design would be really beautiful with um, colored ink instead of black. And then I die cut this um, tile die. I die cut it four times. And this is a layered die. So you get these three layers of this hexagon shape. And um, there's the thicker layer, which kind of looks like a soccer ball to me, like a square soccer ball. <laughs> and then you get a um, layer that has uh, little thinner pieces and then you have the top layer here which is the same shape the same design just thinner pieces and it creates uh, lots of dimension um, you get lots of texture and dimension when you use birch press design dies and I love this one my challenge to myself was to use it um, in a bigger way so I created four of them and now I'm going to adhere it to a piece of green glitter cardstock from the Graceful Garden 6x6 pad by Memory Box. And I'm going to go ahead and just use some liquid adhesive and adhere all four pieces. And I make sure that I hold them down um, because it is liquid, liquid adhesive and glitter cardstock. I made sure I held them in place just a little bit so that I made sure that they were stuck. And then I kind of placed my stuff here just to see if I really really liked how it looked and I did. I could have um, made this into a square card. I'm not. I'm not usually a square card person. Um, so there's there's that. Maybe I should work on that a little bit. Um, after I adhered down my wreaths and remember those are stacked. I'm also going to adhere down my word hugs. Now the hugs is only two die cuts thick, um, still thick enough to kind of resemble chipboard. So I didn't need to add anything extra underneath it. It definitely held its shape. Now I'm stamping a sentiment from that classic sentimental wreath set um, in the same dark green ink. It says thinking of you. 
Um, this month I have been doing, uh, I guess, Christmas cards for Christmas in July. And though this is not a Christmas card, it could be. Um, this design would work very well with a Christmas greeting at the bottom or just a thinking of you um, in the Christmas season, um, especially with the colors. So after I stamped that, then I went ahead and adhered my um, panel here and then just trimmed off the part that was overhanging. Uh, when I had trimmed up that green piece of glitter cardstock, I just kind of uh, roughly made it the right size so that I could get my squares on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and adhere this piece of white cardstock to a card base. And I love that there is this larger border at the bottom and a smaller border at the top. I think it looks so pretty. Now these jewels, these fairy jewels by Open Studio, this is the Bright Jewels collection. They match these papers. Like this green is the same exact green. It's so pretty. And I thought it would look really nice to add three gems underneath the word you just to kind of underline them and uh, make sure that I brought that green, that light green down to the bottom. Now we talked about Christmas and this is where this could become a Christmas season type card. I took the red jewels and I added them into the pattern of the wreath. It just added a little brightness and a little bit of, um, a pop of color. Otherwise, this was a very monochromatic card with just shades of green and white. Um, but adding the red, I think, was a really good design uh, thing, uh, detail, because I like how it turned out. <laughs> so that is my card. I really hope that you enjoyed watching me put it together today. Thank you for stopping by. And as I always say, give cards generously. Bye!